At ground level, Gabby Guerrero's path to the court looks ordinary. She laces up and races to her happy place. It fills my heart. I really don't know what I would do without it. But before she gets to the laces, the sneaker or the sock, there's another routine Gabby has to go through. Another layer below the surface with a story. She's finally ready to tell. If I close my eyes, I can still feel my toes moving. I'll never forget that phone call. Uh, just her screaming, I've ripped my foot off. The date, May 31st, it gives me chills. Gabby was with her siblings, driving her new UTV in a parking lot near her house. I was coming down this hill and it had rained the night before, so this was all wet and slippery. And so when I was turning, I wasn't going very fast, but it's a top heavy vehicle. So it toppled and then it flipped. It slid 50 feet and when it did, my foot had got outside the window somehow and it crushed it and slid with it. We were looking to find a phone and when I looked down, I saw my foot and freaked out. I just saw muscle tissue and bones. My first thought was, oh my gosh, am I gonna be able to play basketball again? I heard it so many times that night before she went into the operating room, um, after she came out and woke up. And she doesn't remember a lot of that, but that's all she talked about. Basketball and life as she knew it was about to completely change. What goes through your mind the first time you hear the doctors use the word amputation? I didn't want to believe it. As a 15 year old, you know, you never want to hear that you're losing something. When I found out I was losing five toes, that was a low point. I remember crying that whole day. I remember, you know, just thinking about how I wouldn't be able to play basketball because, you know, how are you supposed to jump without toes? Pretty soon that question became a blessing, finding the answer exactly the motivation Gabby needed. My one thing was to think about basketball and being on the court with my girls. In your darkest times when you're in pain or you're tired, you just gotta push. You gotta just hop towards it with this leg. So she pushed. Okay, am I going to the Yeah, go to the chair. How do I turn? So you turn towards me. That way. She worked on her shop from her wheelchair. She learned how to walk again. <laughs> There you go. And then run. <laughs> Pretty soon, Gabby was back on the floor at practice. Here we go, Gabby. Nice good job, Gabby. It felt so good to be out of breath. It felt so good to be tired. Her goal? To play high school basketball again in 2019. You need to have in your head that this is going to be a competitive game, okay? On New Year's Eve, she did it. to explain it. It was just the adrenaline going through me. Happiness was finally going through me. I'm doing it. I'm finally back. This is what I've been waiting for for seven months. I really didn't think that that goal was going to be met. Go Gabby, shoot! Yeah. It was very, very emotional. I've had a lot of people quit for a lot less reason. She's just a strong person. Not many people would be able to come back, especially as quickly as she has. When I first had my amputation, we called her Nancy the Nub. For months, Gabby Guerrero refused to look at her own foot. The reason that I struggled with looking at it is because I know that I'm gonna be stuck with this the rest of my life. So if I didn't like it, how would I ever, you know, be able to just look at it every day? Now? I don't mind it. Honestly, it's probably cuter than a lot of other people's feet, so. <laughs> and to see her now and how positive she is, amazes me. Is it kind of crazy to think that here you are, standing tall, right back in the same spot. Yeah, it is. Like, even though it brought me down at that point, you know, I'm back up here and I'm standing and just, you know, came from basketball practice and I feel pretty good. There's no way to rewind back to May 31st, 2019. What Gabby Guerrero lost that day is permanent. But the spirit she discovered, the will to complete her basketball comeback, that will also be with her for the rest of her life. When I did find out I was losing my toes, I didn't think it was possible. Now that I'm back, I believe anything's possible now.
Gabby was seeing playing time on Joshua's varsity squad before her injury. Even though she's been mostly with the JV this season, her goal is to get back on varsity, and she says she knows she can get back there. And there's another thing Gabby's accident hasn't stopped her from doing, and that's getting back on that UTV. Ow. Her reasoning, Sam, she's not going to let one accident take the fun out of her life. 15 years old, she's a pretty amazing young she's lady. She's amazing. I mean, her attitude about the whole thing, I think, is phenomenal, too. And the one little quote that she had during that, she had a lot of quotes, but when she said, I was so happy to be out of breath again, it really makes you realize that a lot of us take for granted, like just being able to go and walk or run or so work true. out. And um, what a great story. Great job. And I think the seven months to come back at 15 years old. It's incredible. Hard to believe.